Hey everyone, and welcome back to LearnWire. Today, we're looking at a brand new software on AppSumo called Frontly. Now this one caught my eye because it claims to be an AI powered no code app builder that lets you create custom web apps and internal tools in minutes. Sounds pretty awesome, right? I was definitely intrigued and ready to see what it could do. But let me tell you, my first experience with Frontly was, well, it was a bit of a roller coaster. So buckle up and let's get into it. First things first, let's talk about the deal on AppSumo. For offering a lifetime deal with a few different tiers. A tier one is $99. For this, you get 10,000 monthly operations and monthly AI credits. You can build one branded app. A key thing to note here is no API access on this tier. Tier two jumps to $289. That's a pretty significant price hike, almost three times tier one. Uh, this tier gives you 50,000 monthly operations, 2,500 monthly AI credits, still no API access, and you can't add your own API key either. It's a bit odd that the AI credits don't scale up as much as the price. Uh, tier three will set you back $529. Now you get 100,000 monthly operations, 5,000 monthly AI credits, and you can build up to 10 branded apps. Uh, and here's the big one. This is where you finally get API access and the ability to add your own API key, which they say can 5X your AI credits. Tier four for the heavy hitters is $879. This gets you 200,000 monthly operations credits, 10,000 monthly AI credits, up to 20 branded apps, and all that API goodness. So the pricing structure is a bit unusual with that big jump between tier one and tier two, and locking API access until tier three is definitely a consideration. What these monthly operations are isn't super clear from the AppSumo page. They suggest it can be database stuff, bandwidth, maybe they host everything for you. We'll have to see if this app sheds any more light on that. All right, with pricing out of the way, let's jump into the software itself. When you first get in, it has that familiar feel of an AI no-code app builder. It asks for your name. Uh, here I put David, LearnWire, check. And then boom, it throws you right into the action with what do you want to build? I actually really like this direct approach, no fluff, just get to it. The interface looks clean. You can see previews for desktop and phone, and there's an option to open your app in full screen. You can also add multiple pages, so it seems like you could build out a small website or a more complex internal tool. They even have some prompt examples, like oh, when a new order is placed, send confirmation email, and update inventory. This makes me think it's geared towards building very specific tools of, or functionalities that you might integrate into an existing website. One of the cool things I noticed right away was the selection of AI models. You've got OpenAI's GPT 4.0, they listed it as 4.1, might be a typo or a very new version that just came out. And even GPT 4.0 Mini. But what really caught my eye was Claude 3 Sonnet. You know, I'm a fan of Claude, so I immediately selected that for my first test. Now, I have this rather large optimized prompt I've been working on to create a sentence by sentence voiceover app. I know these no code AI builders can sometimes get a bit overwhelmed by massive prompts. Often, it's better to start simple like build me a voiceover app and then iterate. But hey, where's the fun in that? So let's see if Frontly can handle it. The initial prompt was indeed too long, so I quickly popped it into Claude itself and asked it to shorten it by 20%. Claude being Claude did a fantastic job and gave me interface requirements, flow, web app for recording professional voiceover, sentence by sentence, perfect. I pasted that into Frontly. Frontly then got to work and generated a plan summary. This was actually pretty impressive. It seemed to clearly understand what I was asking for. It outlined things like styling, set the app background to off-white, uh, app logic, integrate the microphone, implement sentence separation for the script, combine recorded sentences, and even remove silence of uh, 0.4 seconds or less. Page design, use a clean UI, uh, maintain the off-white background, and even specified button colors, red for uh, record, blue 
for redo and green for next. It also mentioned it would create two tables, which I figured would be for the database to store the recordings and user information. This all looked really promising. It felt like it was on the right track, so I hit approve and continue. Want to stay ahead of the AI and software curve without drowning in information? Join the LearnWire newsletter. Twice per month, I'll send you my curated insights on the best software tools and AI developments that actually matter for your online business. No fluff, just actionable insights from my in-depth reviews and testing. Sign up now to get the inside scoop on what's worth your time and money. Next up, first started generating the data tables. This is a crucial step. Uh, if your app can't save data, it's practically useless, right? I imagine a note-taking app that doesn't save your notes. Pointless. This is the kind of backend stuff that tools like Supabase often handle for other no-code builders I've reviewed like Lovable or Bolt. Frontly seem to be creating these data tables natively to act as a database. It even populated them with dummy text showing example recordings, the corresponding sentence text, user IDs, and creation dates. This was a really good sign, so I approved that and it moved on to generating the page layout. And voila, what it produced was a very basic minimum viable product MVP style interface. It had the title, professional voiceover recorder, a box to paste your script, a section where sentences to record would appear, and buttons for parse script, process recordings, and download MP3. Functional, uh, definitely not flashy, but a solid starting point. At this stage, Frontly was reminding me of a hybrid, kind of like combining an AI first builder like a Lovable or Bolt with some of the visual editing aspects you might find in Bubble.io. Bubble is that well-known drag and drop no code builder, but let's be honest, telling an AI what to build is generally way faster than dragging and dropping every single. It looks like once Frontly gives you this AI generated foundation, you can then go into a co-pilot or an editor uh, mode to tweak things. So I thought, let's try a simple edit. I wanted to add a text box. I found the text element, dragged it onto the page and typed in example text box. Easy enough, right? But then things started to go sideways. I couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get back to the main app view it had just created. I clicked around trying to find a done button or an exit for the element editor. I ended up clicking save changes, hoping that would do it. Instead of returning me to my app, the entire app interface from Funtly had just built for the voiceover tool vanished, gone. And in its place, a big fat message, you've reached your AI credit limit. Please upgrade your plan to continue. Hold on a minute. I was on tier one, which is supposed to come with 1000 monthly AI credits. I had been in the software for maybe five, maybe 10 minutes at most. How could I have possibly burned through 1,000 credits already? This was the major red flag. Panicked, I looked for an undo button, nothing. Tried the classic control Z, nada. Was there a way to delete the text box I've added? Couldn't find one. A restore button, nope. I was completely stuck and the app it had built just moments before was nowhere to be seen. It was just gone, replaced by that credit limit warning. This is where things got really frustrating. I decided to go back to the main dashboard in Frontly, delete the page or app I had just broken, and try to start over. But when I tried to create a new app, even just typing voiceover app and trying to proceed, nothing. It wouldn't let me do anything. That AI credit limit reached message was a hard wall. So I did some digging in the usage and billing section, and what I found was pretty shocking. For that one attempt to create the voiceover app, just inputting the prompt and letting it generate the plan, the tables and the initial UI front said I had used 2,105 credits. Let that sink in. My tier one plan gives me 1,000 credits for the entire month. I used over double that in less than 10 minutes on my very first try. This wasn't just a small overage. This was a massive instant depletion. This credit usage basically makes tier one completely unusable if my experience is typical, you literally can't even build one app and test it. What about tier two? That gives you 2,500 credits. My single attempt 
used 2,105 credits. So even if I had paid $289 for tier two, I would have had less than 400 credits left after building one app. How are you supposed to make any edits or further developments with that? It just doesn't add up. It really seemed like the only tier that might be somewhat viable is tier four with 10,000 credits if you're planning on building multiple apps or doing any significant iteration, but that's $879. There's clearly a massive issue here. Either the AI credit allowances are far, far too low, or the amount of credits an operation consumes is astronomically high. Or maybe there was some kind of bug that caused my credits to drain. Whatever the reason, my ability to review the software came to a screeching halt. I spent a bit of time looking at their marketplace, thinking maybe I could try out a pre-built template. They have things like a dark mode landing page, a grocery transaction app, and a modern pricing card. This made me wonder if Frontly is really intended for those smaller, simpler web elements rather than the custom software and full-fledged applications their marketing talks about. But even when I tried to click on one of these templates to see if I could install it, nothing happened, again, blocked by the credit limit, presumably. One other slightly weird thing I noticed on Frontly's own sales page graphics on AppSumo, they show verified purchaser reviews and taco ratings. But when you go to the actual Frontly listing on AppSumo, there are no reviews, zero. That combined with the AppSumo sales page for Frontly looking a bit different than most, just adding to a general feeling of peculiarity. So to sum up my experience, the initial app generation idea is cool and it seemed to understand my prompt for the voiceover app. The data table creation was a good sign, but the UI for editing felt confusing and I easily lost my generated app. The lack of the function is a major problem or even being able to go back to a history of what you've built, a problem. And the biggest issue by a long shot, the AI credit consumption is in its current state as I experienced it completely unsustainable on the lower tiers burning through over 2,000 credits for one initial app build on a 1,000 credit plan means you're dead in the water before you even start. This leads me to a tough spot. I genuinely can't give Frontly a proper rating because frankly, I couldn't use it for more than a few minutes. It became unusable almost immediately due to the credit situation. So I need your help on this one, guys. Uh, have any of you tried Frontly? Did you experience this insane credit usage? Am I missing something huge here? Uh, did I make some colossal user error that uh, caused all this? Please let me know in the comments below. I also didn't want to put this video out because it feels so incomplete but this is why I do these reviews, to show you what I encounter, good or bad. If you were thinking about picking up Frontly, you need to be aware of these potential credit issues. Hopefully this is something that they can fix, whether it's adjusting the credit costs, increasing the allowances, or clarifying what operations and AI credits actually mean in practical terms. If they do get these things sorted out, I'd be more than happy to come back and give Frontly another more thorough look. But for now, this was my first very brief and unfortunately very frustrating experience. Thanks for sticking with me through this rather different style of review. Let me know your thoughts about this new uh, scripted style video and type in Frontly AI in the comments to let me know you watched the entire video. And I'll see you in the next video.